Good lady from District 1. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, I'm going to ask for unanimous consent that we send House Bill 463 to general orders so that we can add a grocery tax and maybe do some other adjustments to the bill. You, and there's been an objection. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I move that we send House Bill 463 to general orders to add the grocery tax repeal and possibly make some other changes. And I would remind the body this is not a procedural vote. Mr. Speaker, I second the motion. All right, we have a, a motion that has been properly moved and seconded. Is there further debate? Gentleman from 14. Mr. Speaker, this is a hostile mo move against the bill. I find it interesting that we keep trying to talk about an increase in taxes on Idaho's elderly and families with the grocery tax credit. It's a separate issue. It's not in this bill. I would remind you the bill we're talking about is income tax reductions. Income taxes that have gone up in this state because Idaho has high income tax rates, some of the highest. I'd encourage you all to get out the sheet you got from your chambers and let's talk about it. Utah, 5% income tax rates. Nevada. Mr. Speaker, no. uh, we need to stick 13. to debating the motion, I believe, not the policy. Uh, well, the debate on the, on the motion to go to general orders, uh, he, he's about to bring it back around to why that's a, a good idea or a bad idea. I love this. Place. <laughs> nothing like having a good assistant to the majority leader is nothing but helpful. I'll say this, the bill's about income tax reductions, the bill's about helping Idaho's economy, it's not about grocery tax credits. The motion is a hostile motion, and I hope you will not support it. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Is there further debate? Good lady from District 1. Mr. Speaker, um, I, I just have to say this is not a hostile debate. The citizens of Idaho want a grocery tax repeal, and that is why I'm asking that this bill be sent to general order so we can add a grocery tax exemption to this great tax cut. So um, this is in no means hostile, as um, the gentleman just addressed. This is just to add the grocery tax repeal to this bill. Gentleman from 14. Ms. Speaker, will the good lady answer a question? Will the good lady yield? Yes, the good lady would yield. Lady yields. Mr. Speaker, good lady, if you brought forth a bill to uh, raise everybody's taxes by doing away with the grocery tax credit? Lady from one. Mr. Speaker, good gentleman, um, I could share how we have discussed um, your conversations with the governor, what he will and will not accept out of this body. We are acting as a body here. We do not work for the governor. Um, I think there's that someone we usually refer to as the gentleman on the second floor Excuse when we me, in, Mr. in debate here. So. The gentleman on the second floor. Um, to be told what we can and cannot put into a bill by the gentleman on the second floor, funneled through <clears throat> you, the, the um, sponsor of this bill, is inappropriate for this body. This body has the power to bring forth bills for the governor's approval or not approval. And so I, I, I just... Okay, I'm going to interrupt right here. There, with these, these would be all be great debate when it's on general orders and when we have a specific question as to what the amendment would look like. Now we're, there's a motion before us to move it to general orders or not. And so uh, getting too far out of field, it will be, uh, is, is, is getting the cart, arguably, and, and in Mr. front of the Speaker. horse. That's so that's Mr. Speaker, and that's why I ask the questions, because it's obvious she does not have an amendment. She does not got a bill. She does not have anything to do with what she's talking about doing. So that's why I ask the question. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. You got my answer. So, Mr. Speaker, if I may uh, respond? No, we don't do it that way. Mr. Speaker. The, uh, the, the maker of the second has the floor to debate his second. Mr. Speaker, the purpose of sending a bill to general orders is not to expect that the bill is already ready. I guarantee if it goes to general orders, I'll bring a bill with a better tax, a child tax credit, so that we actually hold families harmless and don't raise uh, taxes on families with children of more than three. All right. Gentleman from 21. 
Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, please vote no on this motion. Let's keep this bill clean. Let's get this bill passed. Thank you. Is there further debate on the motion to send the bill to general orders? Hearing none, then the debate is closed. The question before us is, shall House Bill 463 be sent to general orders? The clerk will unlock. State your point. Um, I'm just wondering if I get to follow up um, to close the debate on sending it to general orders? Um, on a, the House of Ease, well, we make sure we do it right. And I'll consult with the par parliamentarian. House of Ease for a little bit. The House will be in order. The, the maker of the motion has the right to, to close debate. I ask for further debate. No one stood up. Then we proceed to vote, and then, then you stand up. So I will allow, but let this be a lesson to all, that you have the, the right to close, your, close debate. If you forfeit that right by your sitting down and remaining on, in your seat until a later time, that will, be, that will be ruled out of order in the future. I just want to make it clear, and the lady has the floor to quickly close her debate on the motion to send House Bill 463 to general orders. Go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. So what I'm asking for the body today is to send um, House Bill 463 to general orders so we can add the grocery tax repeal, which most of us in this body have um, pursued um, to try to repeal the tax on groceries for the Idaho citizens. So I'm just asking that we have that opportunity to do that by sending this to general orders, adding our amendment, and then sending the bill on to the Senate. So I would appreciate a yes vote. Thank you. Thank you. The debate is closed. For what purpose do you rise, good gentleman? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, for a point of order, question to the chair. Go ahead. Um, the. The good lady's motion was to send the, send the uh, bill to general orders for purposes of, for the purposes of the grocery tax credit. Um, I just wanted to be clear, if I vote for this, will I still be? Will, uh, I, I, the for, motion more properly stated would be to move the bill to general orders. What happens there is, of course, the prerogative of the Committee of the Whole. Okay. That's, thank we you, can, Mr. Speaker. We can wish, or we can hope, or we can state, but, but it there will be the prerogative of that. the Committee of the Whole to amend the bill if and when it's properly before that committee. Okay. Thank the you, debate Mr. is closed. The, clerk, the question before us is, shall we send House Bill 463 to general orders or not? A yes vote sends it to general orders. A no vote continues the debate. The clerk will unlock the machine and the members will cast their votes. Okay. Do you need to reset? <laughs> Dies on a tie vote, zero to zero. Yeah. Uh, we need to. The clerk will reset the machine. The members will mark time. Has every member voted? Does any member wish to change his vote? Clerk will lock the machine and record the vote on the motion. Motion has failed, 24 to 46.